Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. Today, we're going to be hopping into a film called Fallen. And uh, I have never seen this film. I've never heard of this film. This has been on the Patreon poll for a good bit. Not even just for when we were looking at uh, screenwriting. It's been on here for uh, other moments as well, too. But it just continued missing out, just barely making it. But now uh, it has won its place. And here we are watching it. So uh, I'm excited for that. Um, again, guys guys i have no idea what this film is i have no idea what it's about this is basically me going completely blind into uh this type of film but we are also going to be looking at certain aspects of filmmaking obviously we look at as many aspects as we can or things that you know stand out but primarily we're looking at screenwriting now uh we've watched tons of films where it was primarily just perfect geared to just screenwriting and i was able to really just you know um chew on it and just explore that realm but then we also had other films where it's primarily not focused on screenwriting however it is an element and in ways it's kind of you know it's enjoying to kind of challenge myself to see how the screenwriting can improve how the screenwriting was worked uh, differently um, how it was used and how it wasn't the main component um, and just seeing how all the other pieces work. So it's just like, you know, if this film isn't primarily based, isn't centered completely around screenwriting, that does not mean that, you know, there isn't any uh, uh, things that you can take from, you know, things that you can educate yourself on uh, outside of the fact that this might not be heavy on screenwriting. You know, screenwriting is a prominent thing for every single film. I think that has ever been created. <laughs> so that just means that, you know, it's more so just up to you. It's up to you and where you want to um, choose to extract from, you know, when it comes to that format of, uh, of, of storytelling. So it's always there. You know, there's always elements that are there. But I just wanted to clarify that just in case if some of these films aren't like you know, specifically geared to screenwriting like some of the other films that we've watched here. Literally any film can be um, analyzed through the lens of screenwriting. So um, it's cool. It just requires a deeper understanding and more of a challenge. And I think that's cool because it probably brings forth some uh, interesting conversations, you know, that probably might not have been brought up. So uh, with that being said, I'm excited to check this out. Again, I have no idea what this is going to be about, but I am just ready to dive in. As always, guys, if you want to be able to support the channel, you can by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also support the channel. Uh, the best way to do it is through Patreon, but you can not have to do any of those things. You can just sit back, relax, get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into Fall In. Again, guys, if you want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say to not only this films, but well, to this film, but to all the films that we've watched on this channel, <laughs> you can definitely check it out. And the Patreon for the uncut, sync up your copy of the film with mine, and you should have a blast. I want to tell you about the time I almost died. <laughs> Is that Denzel's voice? <laughs> I was not ready for Denzel Washington to just <laughs> open up and be like, let me tell you about the time I almost died. No, if I go back to the beginning, that'll take forever. So let's start more recently. Somewhere. Anyway. I usually am not a fan of narratives that, that open up. <laughs> but it's Denzel Washington, so I'll make an exception. <laughs> Let me tell you about the time I almost died. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, sir. What is that you were saying? <laughs> what goes around really goes around. Hmm. Yeah, but what goes around really goes around that sounds so simple but i feel like in this film it's just gonna that's gonna smack like a ton of bricks but when it happens people don't always see it or understand it damn how they shot that was pretty wild that was pretty damn wild just like his his muscle spasming the twitches just 
just gonna go on a limb, but this does feel like it's gonna be a lot more of a personal journey for our main character here. I could be wrong. It could be just flat out like, you know, the, the journey or the adventure, but I'm interested in seeing the connection to our main character here, especially with the intro. His camera angle is making it seem like his spirit is like lingering at an aerial position. Grace, you got one more. Wow, we got some people in this film. Okay. I can jump across the table, right? Snatch your heart right out of your chest. My bare hand. Squeeze the blood I've been sticking in your front pocket. I could do that. God damn. <laughs> God damn. Yo, this is Philly. <laughs> this is Philly. I was wondering. I was like, yo, is that the state penitentiary that they're in from the earlier scene? I wasn't sure. But yeah, this is definitely Philly. I can tell that overrated cheesesteak place anywhere. You guys need to go to Chubbs. Go to Chubbies. <laughs> hey, why don't you sit down with me this morning, huh? Let's talk a little bit. You not in a hurry or something? No, 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 no. Relax today. I'm already loving the dialogue. It feels so natural. <laughs> Which is wild because in the beginning scenes, there was a lot of unnatural dialogue because there was a lot of unnatural elements, but this is good. But don't make the boy any more peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. No more peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> okay. Damn, I know this is probably like a little bit extra, but it's so good to hear just black men saying they love each other. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just good to see, man. Instantaneous for me, for me at least, that like really showed me just how, how much love there is. Okay, there's a body in the tub. I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> what were you talking about? <laughs> love. There's a body in the tub. <laughs> Whoa, okay, well that's not normal. You don't just get told that, <laughs> especially as a police officer. Like, what? Or a detective. That's definitely shady. And again, I'm going back to the quote that he mentioned earlier, saying that cops are the chosen people. Something fishy is going on with the, the chosen people, especially with this movie title being fallen. You know, almost feels like a fallen angel. So like... Connected to religion, in a sense. At least using the, the words to describe it. Yeah, he did. He shook my hand. Uh, yeah. You want some coffee? Sure. Okay. One what the hell did he do? Like, put a curse on him? <laughs> did he just hex him? What was that about? What I see in my line of work. Uh, face a little hard to sustain. Good luck. <laughs> He's like, can you tell me what the hell's going on? <laughs> Everybody's speaking in riddles, man. That human beings have is just to figure out what the hell is going on. That's what I just said. That's what I just said, man. <laughs> Together, is he a homicidal maniac who hates you on sight? Or is it nothing? I gotta say, I really do like this predator vision they got going on for these for these uh, criminals, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't know what exact. Well, he's a murderer for sure. I just think that's a pretty cool texture to add to this, to this story. Me too. Gee, thanks. <laughs> I'm sure as hell gonna sleep good at night after hearing that. Whoa, okay, so that wasn't our suspected murderer. Damn, it was that dude. I've been thrown in for a loop. Hey pal, you another clue? 1339 South Road, apartment nine. Damn, this guy's just leading him on a trail of bodies. 
And now that we know who it is, or at least the figure of who it is, I don't know how he's getting away, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how he's this swift. <laughs> Get the ball here, baby. Hey, how you doing? Shoot him, three, two, one. Oh! That's it for me, I'll do it. You know, I'm afraid that, and this is just a a prediction, that his his cousin, I believe, that's what that's what he said, is probably going to die. Because he's so innocent, you know? I'm trying to figure out what is this killer's motive. Like, like he's obviously trying to probe him and spook him. That would do the trick. It does the exact same thing to him. Exact. Exact, because Nunes and Muscovich were killed by the same person. Was some kind of ringmaster? I think so. Awesome composition here. That was cool. That was cool. Before this and after this. Hmm. Time is divided by two parts, before this and after this. You know, and it's interesting because what we got in the beginning was definitely the aftermath, and it seemed like it was the same place, but there was snow on the ground, so it seems like he might be coming back here at a later time. Okay, okay, that... That gave that that gave a little shiver in my system a little bit. That was that was good. <laughs> what is that? Azazel? <laughs> Get that for you. Trees in the water. Absolutely beautiful. What does Azazel mean? <laughs> We're right to it. He's like, listen, um, what the is Azazel. If you enjoy your life, if there's even one human being you care about, don't take this case. What? Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? Is he for real fighting demons? What's going on? Up and down, left and right. That's in the Bible. If that doesn't work, I have other ways. I need a translation of the translation. Yeah. I mean, we, we felt a similar since that i actually said something like that at the beginning where it felt like you know when they were in that predator vision that his spirit was lingering like i don't want to believe that there's some actual <laughs> spiritual demonic play happening here but at least with the cinematography and the way that these puzzles are being you know unfolding it almost makes it seem like that Especially with some of the dialogue spoken earlier. You know, if this is still in Philly, I gotta say, I'm so happy that they are just exploring more with how it looks at night. Because Philly is just, architecturally, it's so good for, at least on my end, night photography. So it's really cool seeing philly again if this is philly uh, i just didn't recognize that location because it's been so long ago this is 1998 um i'm happy that they're using that you know to to kind of stimulate these surreal uh to give just give us a, a surreal stimulation it's really cool what the heck hey tip looking good today thanks what the heck is there actually demonic play happening here? Is that what's really happening? It's on my side. Yes, it is. Lou. What? You always say. Oh. This is this is just this is wild. This is wild. There's a supernatural element going on. That's interesting. That's an interesting take. Like this is like like for sure now. Beware my wrath. <laughs> Man, how do you how like what what do you do? You're just a normal human. What do you do? You go to a, a church, that's what you do. And you just baptize everyone and everything.
Yeah, definitely take take two for that. <laughs> Matter of fact, take twenty. <laughs> and this Reese, he threatened me in Aramaic. I mean, we're going wait, 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 backwards. What else did Reese say? Hey, I'm asking the questions here, Miss Milano. Yeah, I'll be honest. This girl needs to speak the f up. <laughs> she needs to speak up. She's playing way too many games, especially when you're playing with demon stuff. Like, are you kidding me? You better speak up. <laughs> you better start singing. That's it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> I mean, come on. Man, yo, his acting is awesome. It really is the greatest. <laughs> we believe that God limited demons and made them mortal. And he put a few of us here to fight them. Us? Us who? Who? <laughs> he said us. What the hell do you mean us? I don't blame you, man. This is a battle that is just... It's, it's, it's crazy. But it goes back to what he said earlier. He's like, just some things, you know, that... You know, what dictates a strong person is that you know something, but you keep going. I'd be like, yo, God, help us out, man. What is going on? <laughs> we need some players on our team. <laughs> Watch out. Hey, hey, no, you don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what do you do against this, man? Like, what? This is crazy. Like, I, like how? Like, what? <laughs> what do you do? That's insane. That is an insane thing to deal with you tell me this thing can just inhabit souls instantaneously go right home go yeah, run damn yo like <laughs> he is he's he's on some superhero stuff because this is wild i was not expecting this level of demonic <laughs> demonic work like i mean it's really cool but damn how do you fight this thing damn and essentially this guy was innocent he was just controlled by a demon he didn't even know it's me you want isn't it why don't you just kill me huh but i'm still having fun aren't you still having fun God, <laughs> send me some, I don't know, angels or something. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what? That is, like, that's such a foe to go up against. Oh, my goodness. I feel like, I feel like even, like, the Avengers would have a terrible, t a terrible time with this thing. Hmm. Man. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's what the meme is. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I wonder if John Goodman's character is uh, is an angel. What are you thinking? I don't know. He's probably going to try and see if he can bring him out to that house. You know? In upstate. You know, it would make sense for why he's there in the first place, in the first scene, when we start this movie. Uh-oh, what are we building up to? What are we building up to? What happened to his cousin? Oh, no. Why aren't you right there? Where's your father? In the bedroom. He's a sleepy here. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be bad. Damn, man. Holy crap. That's, that's rough. They really kill him? I mean, I know we called that moments ago, but jeez. That's crazy, man. That is insane. Detective Hobbs? Sir, you forgot your change. Detective Hobbs. Detective Hobbs, hold up, I want to talk to you. Hey! God damn! He socked the hell out of him. <laughs> I don't think so. Do you think he's 
gonna go to heaven. Yes. Man, this kid took that. <laughs> that this kid is a trooper. That's crazy. <laughs> he just came to terms that his father was killed like that. Oh my God. And Sam, a safe. You take him somewhere nobody knows about. Hmm. Yep. That place upstate. We're about to have a full circle effect going on soon. I'm going to assume when he was out there, you know, during the first scene struggling to stand on his feet, it might be his spirit battling with a zell or whatever this demon with no job has. <laughs> I knew you'd come. He's like, I'm going to speak in your tongue. I'm going to call you a... <laughs> I'm going to cuss you out in your tongue, man. <laughs> you know, the force so many years, you think you've seen it all, but you haven't. <laughs> this life always gives you one more surprise. One more. Oh, damn. Golly, bro. Holy crap. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, John Goodman could play an angel, but also like <laughs> the devil's father. <laughs> yep, of course it is. <laughs> Yo, John Goodman is going to own this role. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, he's probably the main villain, man. Chippy, you were talking to. How do you want to do this, huh? I die, you die. What's maximum fun, huh? Can you guess? What's maximum fun? Dude, this demon is on some demon time, dude. Oh, man. I'm kind of loving it. I'm kind of loving that John Goodman is owning this. I think that he wanted what I'm going to do. <laughs> I couldn't pull it off. Pull what off? Oh, come on, it's Hazel. I'm excited to see what he tries. I really am. He's even throwing his own scriptures back in his face. He's like, open your eyes. Because cigarettes kill. Especially cigarettes laced with poison. Woo! Oh my God, I was just thinking that. Holy crap, that's why he took the poison. Wow. That is a move. Damn, that's a move. Holy crap. Hmm. Damn, that's hardcore, man. I, this ending was awesome. This, I mean, it's still going, but this ending is awesome. I was really, really hyped to see how they played it out. And this is a really good ending. Wow, this is so wild. <laughs> this is wild. Yep, full circle. Yes, a demon can die. And Hobbes figured out how to beat me at my own game. That's crazy. This narrative turned it to the demon because he possessed them. Wild. Oh, is it the cat? Are you kidding me? Stop. Oh. Stop it. Oh, my God. That's okay. <laughs> that is actually a daring ending. Holy crap. You're telling me the cat is the thing that... Okay. Okay. All right. Where the heck was God with this, man? Like, where... <laughs> That's depressing. <laughs> that is some depression right there. I don't know. I really did like how this ended, though. This was good. All right, guys, and that is the end to Fallen. All right, everybody, we just got done watching Fallen. This was, <laughs> this was a time, man. This was definitely a time. I was not expect. I again, I come into this as blind as I possibly can. I was not expecting to just have this supernatural element, and even on top of that, this really cool and 
pretty genius way on how to fight that as a normal human. But then the director taking an even more daring approach by <laughs> by giving us almost like a bad ending. Well, not even an almost. It is a bad ending. The demon survived because of this 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 damn cat. Like that's that's crazy. That's insane. But this was such a really cool twist. This was a really fun watch. Um, we were piecing it together. I think I feel like really well at the beginning, just from you know the dialogue and again you know looking at screenwriting as i mentioned in the intro even though this film isn't like a filmmaker screenwriter's uh, uh dream right um I, screenwriting is still an essential part to telling a story right and it's thanks to the screenwriting it's thanks to the setups that were taken to get to a certain point uh that kind of helped me put the pieces together you know and i wasn't using like you know filmmaking techniques or anything i was just going simply by what was given to me through dialogue through narration through um other forms and it's even cooler to see that the narration actually had a greater effect outside of it just being you know an assistance for the audience it actually had an effect where uh the narrator at the beginning was actually the demon the whole time um so this was just really cool that was a really cool spin um, but man like i was not expecting this freaking like constantine <laughs> film this is really cool you know what that's probably what, who he needed to call he probably needed to call constantine but man wild wild uh mystery thriller mixed with the supernatural um this is something that was really cool again um i definitely dug the world that was built here uh, i'm happy that he didn't go too too in depth with it like you know him discovering the angels and everything i do like the fact that you know they kept it very personal even it ran the risk of it, it not making too much sense you would think that angels would band together so that way they can you know fight this thing but it is what it is but yeah i mean what you're ex do i have to accept the fact that now that the demon is gonna go and kill like a bunch of people <laughs> including the people that he's loved like that's that's a, that's a sour taste again that's a that's a very conscious um direction that the director chose to took uh chose to take and i gotta respect that but damn, that is a sour taste to leave off with after all that fighting he did. After all that suffering he did, it's a rough one, you know? And I wonder if that's why it got low ratings. <laughs> I'm wondering if that's why it got low ratings. Because, yo, I had a good time with this film. It is definitely not deserving of some of the ratings I think I briefly saw when I was choosing this film. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. I'm interested in hearing it. Um, did you like it? Did you not like it? Did it offend you? <laughs> did the ending just like gut punch you? Did you like the ending? I'm curious to know. But like always, guys, I appreciate y'all. Stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Like my time, hair pulled back in the back seat.